Hey everyone, I'm JBiz Hunts, and in this video, I'm going to show you the simplest way to grind for your first great one. In Hunter Call of the Wild, great ones are the most sought after trophies, and I'm here to help you get your first one for your trophy cabin. There are plenty of herd management guides out there, including mine, that can be a bit complicated for those just starting out, but today, I'm bringing it down and making it simple as possible for you. Let's go. Let's start with the easiest great one species to herd manage, fallow deer. They're the best option for beginners and here's why. Fallow deer have predictable herd zones that typically include two males and three females, making them easier to track and manage. They show up to their zones relatively quickly, especially compared to moose and whitetail, and their respawns are probably the most consistent of all species that have a great one. Plus, you can use any 4-8 to eight rifle for grinding them. I personally love using the M1 for this. It's reliable and gets the job done efficiently. Now, it's important to note that fallow deer are only the easiest to grind if you're hunting on the Te Aoroa map. This guide will only work if you have that DLC map, so if you're very serious about getting your first great one, owning the Te Aoroa map will give you your best chance to do so. The reason Te Aoroa is ideal is that fallow deer are concentrated in the bottom right corner of the map making it easy to find all of their zones. You have to manage 100% of the zones for herd management to work its best. And there are only 35 zones to manage, which is a very manageable number compared to 65 plus zones you'd have to manage in other maps. This smaller number of zones makes it much easier to learn and apply herd management techniques without being overwhelmed and starting your grind. Here's a look at my map and the starting tent placements I used. Keep in mind that everyone's maps will differ but the general areas where zones might appear won't change. I've set up multiple fallow grinds in Teoroa, and once you know where to look, the setup becomes very easy. To get started, I recommend running or using the ATV to open up the outposts I've circled on the map. These outposts will give you easy access to all the potential areas where fallow deer like to drink. Next, I've highlighted the areas on the map where you're likely to find zones. In my experience, I've never found zones outside of these highlighted areas. It's worth checking some areas two or three times to make sure you found all the zones, since some zones can appear later than others. When you're ready to start looking for zones or begin your shooting rotation, I recommend starting at the midpoint of their drink time. For fallow deer, their drink time is from 10 o'clock to 1300, so I set the time at 1130. Now, why start at the midpoint? Animals don't show up to their zones right at the start of their drink time. By setting your time at the midpoint, you give yourself the best chance that when you go look for fallow zones, they'll actually be there drinking. This increases your efficiency and helps you locate zones or begin your rotation with the least amount of downtime. We've talked about why fallow deer on Teoro is the best option, where to find them, and what time to start your search. Now that you've found a lot of your zones, what's next? It's time to set up your gear. You'll need 16 tents. If you're on PC, you get 5 tents with the tent DLC. But if you're on console, tents come standard with the game and you start with five as well. Each tent costs 16,000 in-game currency and you can only have 16 tents on the map at once. So if you don't already have them, you'll need to purchase 11 more tents. When setting up, place your tents 250 meters away from the zone. To do this, place a marker directly on top of the zone, then walk 250 meters away in the best direction for a clear line of sight when shooting at the zone. Setting up your tents closer than 250 meters might spook the fallow deer when you fast travel to check your zones, so it's important to keep that at a distance. When you start your grind, you may not need blinds right away, but they definitely help. Blinds are crucial for managing hunting pressure, which accumulates on the map as you shoot animals. Without a hunting blind, you can shoot three animals at a zone before the fourth shot deletes the zone, forcing you to rediscover it. However, with a hunting blind of any kind, you can shoot up to 16 animals before risking the deletion of that zone. Also, if you're only shooting one animal per zone, the hunting pressure from other zones can help reduce the pressure at previous ones, giving you more flexibility in your grind. What do you shoot? I've got the easiest answer for you, and it ties into my Great One conspiracy theory. In that video, I broke down why I believe the Great One spawns are all about weight of the animals in your herd. The lower the level, the lower the weight which causes the game to overcompensate by spawning higher level, higher weight animals. Since the Great One is a Fable 10, it's the heaviest for the species. For Fallow Deer, which max out at level 5, the simplest strategy is to focus on shooting levels 3, 4, and 5, and avoid shooting 1s and 2s. My honest advice? Don't shoot the lower levels. 
they'll make your grind easier. As a content creator on console, I want to be real with you. It's tough to kill two bucks per zone. I know it's a bit easier on PC, but I don't think it's necessary. I've hunted all five of my great ones by harvesting just one male per zone. I focus on the higher weight estimate at each zone, skipping the ones and the twos. Let's be honest, I'm no Scarecrow, I buy Premium or Lady Legend, so focusing on one deer per zone might be the easiest way to start. What I love about fallow deer is that 95% of their herd zones have two plus males. I use this to my advantage, aiming to spawn a level two and keep one male as the shooter as the one as a keeper. My goal is to set up 16 tents across 16 herd zones in the final part of my grind, shoot one deer per zone, and then reset the time and repeat until the great one shows up. There are roughly 20 herd zones on Tearoa to manage, which is very small. Herd zones will always have both males and females in the group, so you'll never see males only in a proper herd zone. If you spot two plus males and no females at a zone, what you're actually seeing are multiple solo males sharing a drink zone. Herd zones are crucial for grinding and herd management because when you harvest a male from a herd zone, it will always respawn another male in its place. Think of this as a hole that needs to be refilled. Once you take one male out, the game will randomly regenerate another male to fill that spot. This is why focusing on herd zones is so important. It ensures consistent male respawns, which are key to progressing towards your great one. There are typically around 15 to 20 solo males on Teoroa map at any given time. The tricky part about these solo males is that once you harvest one, it can respawn anywhere within its home range which for Teo Row is the bottom right of the map. Because of this, I personally recommend leaving solo males alone unless they have a max weight range of 82 to 100 kilograms. In that case, they are best to be harvested to try and lower uh, the weight average for the herd. You might find multiple solo males at one zone. They'll look like a herd, but aren't, though they will share the same indicator. Also be aware that a solo male can sometimes attach to a herd. However, once you harvest them, he will respawn somewhere else on the map, making them unpredictable and harder to manage during your grind. I want to clarify what's random and what's within your control during the grind, so you know where to focus your efforts. What's in your control is finding all your zones and consistently shooting levels three, four, and five. Another thing that isn't random is the respawn timing in herd zones. If you shoot one male, you can expect another to replace him in about 15 real life minutes. However, there are some elements that are out of your control. Solo males are one of these, as they can respawn anywhere within their home range. Additionally, you won't have control over the weight and score of the animal that respawns. This is where herd management becomes crucial. The game tends to overcompensate for having too many low weight animals, which are also low level, on the map. So by managing your herds effectively, you increase the likelihood of getting higher weight animals in your respawns and higher levels, and hopefully the highest level, which is a fabled 10. So in conclusion, guys, here are my, my final thoughts. Number one, buy Teo Aroa. Start by purchasing the Teo Aroa map to set up your fallow deer grind. Step number two, set up a grind using 16 tents. Strategically place the 16 tents across the map to cover your best fallow deer zones. Number three, set time to 11.30 and reset at 1300 o'clock. Begin your grind by setting the time to 11.30 a.m. and reset it to 1 p.m. for optimal hunting conditions. Number four, wait 15 minutes for respawns. Allow 15 real life minutes for respawns after you harvest a deer. Step number five, 35 zones, 20 should be herds. Identify and manage around 35 zones, ensuring that at least 20 of them are herd zones. Six, only shoot max weight estimate solos. When dealing with solo males, only shoot those with a max weight estimate. It'll make your grind a lot faster. Number seven, manage the herd to 16 tenths by the end of it with one shooter per zone. Keep your herd management tight by focusing on 16 tents with one shooter per zone. Number eight, go into the same direction each rotation. Hunt in the same direction each rotation so that the first zone you harvest is respawning by the time you finish the last one, about 15 minutes later. Number nine, pick up your harvest. Always claim your kills. Failing to do so will hurt spawning a great one. And number 10, have fun. Enjoy the process and have fun with your grind. That's it for this video, fellow hunters. I want to keep it as simple as possible to help you get your first great one. My first great one, Fallow Deer, took 2,541 harvests, and it was a long grind. But after that, I harvested four more Fallow Great Ones in 1,584 harvests. I was getting a great one Fallow every 400 harvests. So remember to keep shooting, and it will come. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. 
If you want to check out some of my other content or be notified of future content, please subscribe. And until next time, happy hunting.